everybody, it's Vic Merck. I'm here again with another deck profile. Um, today I ended up going to Legendary Phoenix Games for a case tournament. I ended up bringing um, a deck, I guess you could say it's like Bicele, Synchron, um, or Synchro, Sprite and stuff. It was an interesting deck. I wanted to try it out. I tried out one set at my friend Bradley's shop as well. Uh, pretty much, it's kind of like Dragon League, but with more steps or a little bit different combo lines. Different ways to get to it. Different ways to get to almost the same in field. But it was just a combo deck I wanted to try out. So I said, screw it. Let's try it out. Uh, let's just get straight onto the deck profile. Okay, so starting off with the deck profile, I'll start off with the Buy Steel Engine. I'm playing three Lubellion. Of course, the one Magnumut, two Sorinir. Um The second one came in in the replace of one of the Magnumuts. Then same thing with two Druish Worm. Second one came in in place of the Magnumut when he got hit. Then the last monster is Baldrick for the um, Bicycle Engine. And then, of course, I'm playing the Regain and the Branded Beast. Regain's great for recovery. Beast great is, of course, great for interruption. Next, for like the Synchro engine, like the tuners and cards that are mainly used with that. Um, two Assault Synchron and three Tuning to search it out. Um, I did like the 3 2 more than playing 3 3 or 3 Assault Synchron, 2 Tuning. Just because getting the extra card milled is pretty good. And then, three of the Ringo Worm. Um, it's actually a very good card. There's sometimes where I synchro some is using this card about three or four times in one turn. It's kind of busted. And then the last two cards part of this engine are the Shinobi Necro. Of course, with Bice Hills, if it gets banished, it just summons itself right back and you could easily synchro it. And then uh, one Caligo Claw Crow. Pretty much that is searched off of Cupid Pitch as a combo extender. Also, it's a level 2 for the Sprite Engine. Uh, next, for the Sprite Engine, I play Triple Sprite Blue. It's the one you really want to see the most, just because it can search all the rest. And I play one of, of the rest, the Jet, the Red, the Carrot. And then also the one Starter and the one Smashers. Uh, Smashers does not need to be played in the main deck. It could be side deck. It worked out pretty well for me as a searchable interruption, of course. Um, sometimes I search that instead of the starter. You never want to start with starter, though. That cuts you off from your buy seal plays and most all your synchro plays. But the next little engine I played is um, Cyber Skagit. So I played the three Cyber Skagit and then the one Silent Mining to search it. Pretty much it made Link Lingaribo and then... Gave me a level 2 token that lets me go into the sprite place, lets me make sprint, and lets me be able to play a little bit from there. Next, for the hand traps, I did play a little bit of hand traps. Um, uh, starting off, I played 2 nib. Um, it's very good, this format. A lot of people... A lot of people don't really play around it still. I don't fully understand why, but a lot of people just don't play around it. Um, two Ash Blossom, it's generic staple, very good against Brandon, very good against just about everything. Um, two Effect Veiler, I want an Effect Veiler because it was another light that I can get to Grave so the Buy Seals are a little bit more live in case I'm playing against something that's not like Light and Dark. Um, this one, this one of Fantastical Draz Dragon Phantasmae. Pretty much, it's searchable off Magma, and it's not too bad against decks like uh, Rescue Ace if they're playing like the Link build, Dragon Link. Um, you can summon it when you're playing against Vanquish Soul. There's a few decks where it's actually not that bad against. Oh, it's good against um, Unchained. That's uh, the deck I was thinking of. And then the last three are three Infinite Permanents. Um, very staple card. And then the last couple cards I played are kind of just other staples, such as like cards that could go first or second, doesn't really matter which one. But Triple Book of Moon, um, pretty self explanatory. I know it's fallen off a little bit this format, but still a very good card. Um, 
three triple tac tactic talents. I can't speak today. Sorry, guys. Um, pretty much if I get hand trap, I want to be able to either draw or see your hand or anything like that. Um, this deck will probably be changing up a little bit if I am going to play in the future. I'll probably add Ken and Gen, play the thrusts in here as well with the talents instead of just playing the talents. I actually end up signing the the thrust in this build. Uh, last card I played in the main deck was the one called by the grave. I almost never not play it. I play a 50 card deck. Um, that could change as well. I probably could have played closer to around 44 or 45, taking out a few cards that weren't fully needed, but yeah. Okay, so for the extra deck, starting off with the Link Monsters. I play the one Link Rebo, like I said, for the Cyber Scadger play. Also, I do side Ibly as well. Also, in case I do get Ibleed, I can out it easily as well. The one Heretic Seal of Heavenly Spears. Um, play enough dragons to make it. It's a really good card. The one Beat Cop for when I do summon Ibley. When I do side in Ibley, I can, of course, Gigantic into Ibley, make this, make sure Ibley can't die. So they can't really out of that easily. In certain decks, that's just game winning. The one Sprite Sprint, it's mainly a combo extender. Um, the one Sky Striker Ace Azalea. To be honest, for the tournament, I was borrowing a uh, SP Little Knight. Once I get that, that will probably be hidden here instead. But this was in my original build as well. It just doesn't come up as much now. And then I also played the one Dark, the Dark Charmer. Um, very good card. Simple as that. Next for some of the synchros. I put the one keep it pitch. It's just depending on the combo that you have to start with, if you start with Sprite and any of the tuners, you can go into this play and still get to Excel, still get into Baron, still get into um the Buy Steel Synchro level ten, Dispater. Also, be able to burn your opponent for 800 after you already burned yourself for 700. So, you shouldn't be losing in time if you have to do it. Um, the Sail Synchro Stardust and then the regular Stardust so I contribute all the Sail to do the Synchro Summon. Um, Scarlet Red Dragon Archfiend. This card is a great card. Of course, we'll go in closer in time. This is actually supposed to be a Chaos Angel. I just don't have one. But... To be honest, even without it, it still works with the deck since it is a level 8 Dark Dragon. So you can actually tribute this with um, Lubellion and bring it back with Assault Synchron, which is cool. Uh, the one Baron de Fleur, staple level 10 Synchro. <laughs> the one Cheng Ying. <clears throat> this could also be... Um, Chaos Angel. It came up once today. The one Dispater. <coughs> You're pretty much making this every turn one if you can. It's one of the biggest combo singers for you. That's it for the Synchros. Uh, next, I just played two rank twos for the Sprite Engine. The one Gigantic Sprite and then the one Mannequin Cat. Uh, Mannequin Cat is kind of a busted card to be able to pretty much shoot it for anything in your deck. Depending on what your opponent summons. And then you can even side cards for it just like I do. Um, and of course gigantic, gigantic. That's it for the extra deck. I will go over the side deck. Of course side deck is personal preference. So it's really up to you on whether or not you want to play it like this. There's just some options. Um, I was siding the one Ibley. Of course summoning out gigantic. You can actually also summon it off, well, send it with Sprint and banish it with a Bice Seal and then summon it back with Dispater if you have it. And then link it off. Um, the one end of Anubis, this was a Mannequin Cat target for Unchain, Tear, pretty much anything that has a Dark Deck or Fiends. And that touched the graveyard a lot. It's even good against Dragon Link because they can't actually activate any of their buy steals. Either can I, but that's fine. If I can stop them from playing, I can still win. Um, I was also supposed to be doing Chrissia for Purely, but I've never actually played against Purely, so and I didn't have the Chrissia when I made this build. So I had to take it out. 
Um, I did play the one down wrestler Panker Tops. It's a great card to chew out. Many problematic boards for the most part. Just summoning this, like say against Dragon Link, if they have a seal and baron on field, this automatically outs that field. Battle phase, attack seal, they activate effect, you chain target baron. And you're like, well, good luck, good game. Um, next, I played the one Harpy's Feather Duster, the one Lightning Storm, the one Change of Heart. Now all of those are searchable with Triple Tactics Thrust. I did pull my third one um, in my entry packs and OTS packs. I did pull ulti, so I will probably be playing three of this in the future if I am playing Ken and Gan in the main deck. Um, other cards to get off Thrust, the one... Uh, Destructed Daruma Karma Cannon. 2D Barrier. Um, just drawing into it is actually pretty good. I actually drew it against Sword Soul. I actually won me the match against Sword Soul. 2 Eradicator. I know a lot of people want this card banned, but um, while it's here, I'm, I'm going to use it. And then the last two cards double evenly. Okay, give me one second. So yeah, that's pretty much it. That's it for the deck profile. Um... I know there's a couple changes I'd probably make. Uh, if I do end up making them actually playing this deck again, then I'll be making another video about it. Uh, if you want to know any combos, just message me on here. I will attempt to do a combo video. I'm not really that great at those yet, but I will try to. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Everyone, this is Vic Mark TCG signing off. Have a nice night.